friends in my last video for discussion of LED driver circuits I discussed that here we have 1.5 milli henry coil 1.5 milli milli henry choke that is used to drop voltage the extra voltage from the line if the line varies from for example 100 volt to 300 volt 350 volt it will just this circuit will allow only 100 volt to the circuit remaining voltage will drop across this inductor its inductor value and frequency will determine the xl xl is inductive reactance i received a comment from one of my viewer how we can say it is 1.5 milli henry so let's discuss if we see this inductor here is 152 code 152 It is also 152. How we can say it is 1.5 milli henry? Any inductor in the circuit, in any circuit, when its value is mentioned, it is in micro henry. And the code 152. So 1, 5, these two double zero. If the figure here is 3, then 3 zeros. If 1, 1 zero. If 151, one, that time 150 micro henry. Now 152, 152 one, zeros, 1500 micro henry. So we can write it 1.5 milli henry. Why? Divided by 1000 to convert in milli henry to test it practically i have this tenma 8155 lcr meter power on i connected these two test leads to inductor and capacitor test boards this switch is out to test inductor i will connect one lead to the output terminal of output end of the coil and I will connect the second end to the input side. So it is giving 1598, 1 1.6 millihenry. It is showing 1.598, we can say 1.6 millihenry because the range is selected 2 millihenry. So it is less than 2 millihenry, 1.6 millihenry. Or we can say it is 1602 micro henry or 1.6 milli henry. Why it is giving 1.6 milli henry in inductor, in transformer, when we cal calculate its inductor value? In calculation, it is 1.5 milli henry or 1500 micro henry. When we design practically, if the turns are 14.5 so we have to wind 16 15 turns is the in calculation 14.5 turns practically we can we have to apply 15 turns so 0.5 turn or half turn more will change the inductance to upper or lower value so we have to compromise on that because in physical design we have to compromise and second thing because I am testing inside the circuit so its value will slightly differ because some other parallel components also change the value slight, slightly up or down and the third thing I am testing it through test leads and I am connecting here and my the charge on my hand is also involving in this measurement so if you want to take a perfect measurement, remove it from the circuit, remove inductor from the circuit and connect it and don't touch your hand. Place this under test component away from any metallic part because the iron, the nearby iron will also change its inductor value. So we have to select a neutral area to take a good measurement 
I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it. If you want to watch my videos in future, you can press bell icon button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.